Cause I never see you online If they worry me any day, give me consign, yeah I've been ringing on your cellular, where you at? But enough he said to them, yeah I'm hoping you're okay, we got to party tonight Then you just stay for mine, yeah Me and you, dear, I am not my guy Don't just be my guy Show me signs that you transfer You said be my guy That always my guy, my guy To the one real one that's in my So I call your name and ask me who is your Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, feel free to join the fun squad by hitting the subscription button, like, and let's have fun together. Anyways, so today is Sunday, I think 19th of uh, March, yeah, yeah, and there is a meet and greet today for Ugandan YouTubers. Uh, Wodemaya and Miss Trudy are going to grace us with their presence, if I may say so. So yeah, that is where I'm heading. It's at the Obani Center, but the weather is doing its thing in Kampala. Yeah, it is uh, raining, drizzling, whichever it is. Yeah, I think now this is beyond drizzling, it's raining. But nonetheless, let's head out and uh, see what we can learn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go meet amazing YouTubers, amazing creators, uh, amazing creators and... Uh, yeah be able to be a part of the community see you when i get there because i, I cannot vlog while i'm driving i do not have um a car tripod so i guess i'll see you when i arrive there <laughs> Finally, we've arrived. Uh, forgive the lighting. I am in the basement parking. It's still 2:30. The function starts at 3, so I think let me just go up to the rooftop. That's why it's happening, so that you know, I'll be socializing with the people that have already come. So yeah, I think let's go there. Yeah, exactly. We are trying to show you what Uganda is, but I mean, we can only do much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're deep for me. Now I'm putting faces. I'm putting faces. The guy has given us cards. Uh, 
that they hate on Twitter. Okay, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking, I'm joking. Sorry about the hate. Your results are really beautiful. We went to the West, and you guys are really beautiful. I'm not going to advise you to quit your full-time job if YouTube is not making money. Don't get me wrong. If YouTube makes you money, you have all the right to quit your job and focus on YouTube. Because I don't know which job that is worth more than having a YouTube platform. Being an engineer, or being a doctor, mention. Right? But I'm not gonna advise you to quit your job and then I mean focus on YouTube. You can only focus on YouTube when you know that okay, at least I'm making something which will sustain me in a month. Then you put all the energy that you put at the 95 on your YouTube channel, and believe me, you'll see more growth and more money on the platform. Um, how to find your niche? That's a very tough question. You see, when you start a YouTube channel, you might be creating one particular content, but it doesn't work for you. If something is not working for you, why are you still doing it? You need to try and experiment so many things to see which one works best for you. I started as a comedian, yes. Ah, oh yeah. I, I used to grab jokes, but I was not funny. Yeah. And I realized that it was not working for me. My channel was not growing. What did I do next? I started talking about being an African living in China. And that's when my channel started growing. I left China, came to Africa, and I started Africa to the world, traveling different African countries, making videos. Yes, the videos were getting views, people were getting to know me, but believe me, the best niche I've ever had was interviewing entrepreneurs. And I got this niche in 2020 during COVID, when I couldn't travel. So I was like, what am I gonna do different this time around? Why did I focus on entrepreneurship? One, it had more impact than my previous content. Two, my channel was growing in a way that I've never seen before. When I started my entrepreneurship series, I had 300,000 subscribers. By December, I started in May. By December, I had 600,000 following me. That's like double of my subscribers in less than six months. Now, apart from getting the subscribers, each video of every entrepreneurship series don't give you less than three to four thousand dollars per video. You know why? Because YouTube is not about views. I always tell people, get it right. It's not about views, it's about where are the people watching you from and the kind of content that you're creating. You can't compare a million comedy channel to a million entrepreneurship channel. Because a comedy channel has cannot get closer. The gap is huge. Not because of the views, but because of the value of the people that watches the channel. So that's why I'm telling you, finding your niche, I cannot come and tell you, do this, do that, do that. But experiment. If you are doing makeup, you think it's not working for you, why are you still doing makeup? At least there are a lot of makeup videos online. I'm not saying, you, but try new things. See. The African YouTube space is boring. Why is it so boring? Because African YouTubers have decided not to be creative. And when you talk about it, people are saying that, oh, you're trying to hate on your fellow content creators. No. There's so many things that when I walk around, I see as content that no one is talking about. I see that now the village content is becoming popular now. I said it in Ghana three years ago. Why are you guys not showing our village lifestyle? Now I've seen a lot of people are doing village content. The food we eat can be content on its own. 
Have you just woke up one day and said that, okay, you're eating my talking, today you're going to eat? I think the mistakes that most of you make, you think the whole world is just like your country, so we know everything. Yeah. I think Trudy said, she didn't know like uh, the safari <laughs> and people are mad. <laughs> With a gorilla, and then my friends from Rwanda were like, "Oh, you're yeah, back in Rwanda." Ah. <laughs> I'm in Uganda. The first thing that she said, "Are you sure you are in, in that's, um, Uganda? Have uh, gorillas?" Okay. Yeah. Wow. She was surprised. This is your neighbor, so it's your duty. Just an interruption. Small interruption. Thank Actually, you. Uganda has almost a half percent. Of the total population of the mountain gorilla. Why are you not telling us? Yeah. Yeah. You are telling me. <laughs> so you see, this is the problem that we have as African content creators. There's so many things. Pick, go, go out there. Don't just be in your room and you think, oh, hi guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Please, and I, I also want to ask why? Why are you creating one type of videos? Just because maybe you watch the street doesn't mean that you have to be video doing the same video as the street. That she inspires you to go out there and do something different, something unique that a lot of people are interested in. So find your niche. The niche is out there, but it's up to you to go find it. I would just tell you, nothing is impossible. Build yourself as a creator. Find a niche, and all these people will come to you. And when they come, they're not just coming, they pay. Okay? <laughs> so, unlike Maya, for me, I, haven't, I can't say I found my niche. I'm still struggling, honestly. I can't say there's this one content that is my niche. And I tell Maya all the time, I'm still struggling to find myself on YouTube, honestly. I, have, I don't feel like I've found myself. That's why I try different things. I'm traveling, I'm doing family content, I'm doing different things. But it's okay because life is a journey. And uh, you don't get it at the same time. So every day I'm just doing my best, trying to be consistent. So, yeah, that's, that's it for me. I think um, for you to come back, it all depends on your bank account, eh? <laughs> because as soon as you stop, your bank account goes green. Yeah. But you'll be like, okay, can I come back for my bank account to go green? I mean, you say YouTube gives you green. Even the green, we have two types. We have the thick green and then the lighter one. But I will just tell you that. Even for you to go on a break, right? Film more videos, and then whilst you're on a break, take some time to edit. Maybe because I think the worst part of it is going to the streams and shooting. The editing, maybe a week, edit one video just for the people so that you don't go off totally. Um, you don't want to go off that when you come back, you have to struggle to get views. Taking a break on YouTube is, is, is tough. So that's why so many people hate to take breaks. So they put this in place. So it is what it is. Just um, do your thing and start from somewhere. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, that was a fruitful day meeting people, meeting Miss Trudy, Wodemaya, and all the people I've met today. Uh, day well spent yeah thank you so much for watching up to this time i hope you subscribe to like the different people that have been in the videos uh if you watched your favorite content creator in the videos tag them let me know who have you identified and all those nice things yeah don't forget to always be happy and spread positive vibes until next time bye i'm out mm -mm.